Dave's guest tonight is... Uh, Excuse well, me, Conan. Uh, yes, uh, La Bamba. Can I have tomorrow night off? Yeah, sure. You won't mind if I'm gone? No, not at all. Besides, I'm sure we can find some other trombone player to fill in for you. Don't be so sure, Conan. Okay, who the hell are you? <laughs> My name's Nigel Harker from the Wildlife Society. You may not realize it, but trombone players like La Bamba are now an endangered species. What are you talking about? I thought there were lots of trombone players. There used to be. Many years ago, during the big band era, trombone players roamed the land <laughs> in great numbers, like thundering herds of buffalo. But unfortunately, after rock and roll came along, playing the trombone didn't seem nearly as cool anymore. The herd began to thin out more and more, and now today there's only a few of the poor bastards left. Well, is there some way to increase the trombone player population? That would require sexual reproduction. And unfortunately, a woman hasn't been sexually attracted to a trombone player since the late 1940s. Come on, that's pretty hard to believe. <laughs> Maybe not. Okay, go on. Now, here's an idea. Have you ever tried mating La Bamba with a female trombone player? Many times. Unfortunately, it's very difficult getting trombone players to breed in captivity. Take a look. Hi. Hi. Uh, that was one of the most depressing things I've ever seen. Yeah, I hear you. Is breeding also a problem for trumpet players like Mark Pender? No. Fortunately, trumpet players have avoided extinction by hitting on literally anything that moves. That's interesting. Uh... <laughs> well, it's starting to look like La Bamba might be the last of a dying breed. Yeah, our only hope is that like the planarian flatworm, La Bamba somehow begins breeding asexually. Possibly by developing both male and female genitalia. I was actually born with both male and female genitalia. You're kidding, that's great. La Bamba, this means now you can reproduce all by yourself. I already have.